The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the terrific Tuesday, the September 24th edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary day. Yep, let's make an, an extraordinary day. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by, sh two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out with those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but much, much more important than that. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, go ahead, send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, in our Tiger's Den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we got all the indices in the red, Dow off 160. Four, excuse me, S&P down 25, NASDAQ 100 off 102, Russell off 21, Spot Volatile Index is up 13%. Of course, we're going to want to know what the end of day rate of change is, up $1.95. Anything north of 10%, uh, you know what the fire drill is out there. Gold is up eight dollars, trading out at 15.39, and silver's off seven pennies. And light sweet crude back a buck 22. Lead the charge, the upside. Pod P O double D Insulate Corp up uh, about four percent or six bucks. Fresh Del Monte Produce up five dollars. To the downside, AutoZone is the leader, down 53 bucks. That's nearly 5%. Amazon, 38 bucks, 2%. Shopify, 20 bucks, 6%. Tesla's off 15 or 6%. And uh, what, uh, what, 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 what we want to uh, get a feel. first, 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 what we want to do before we go take a look at what's going on in the daily time frame. I got to alert everybody out there that uh, the ES Mini and the Dow, not the NQ, but the ES Mini and the Dow are. Uh, now in the bar following bar nine of a TD setup nine count on the 30 minute time frame chart. So you're looking at the ES mini right now. If there's going to be a bottom in the afternoon, it was taking place as we were coming on the air or during this half hour. Now, what you and I know is that uh, wave count nine or eight, nine or 10, not wave count, but uh, the TD setup, it's different than Basil's wave count. You happen to see wave letter G here in the center of my uh, chart out here. That was at 7:30 last night, as the as the Rhodes momentum indicator bottom that took place yesterday at 5:30, we discussed that price petered out, so to speak. And Peter, I didn't mean any no, but you know what I mean by that. It uh, price found its high, singing in the key of. Stevie, the key of G out there, uh, the key of Basil, Let's just, uh, you know, but letter number G, wave number seven out there, that was the high. Now what we're taking a look at is potentially this way. So if you're short, if you're an inter interday trader out there, uh, please tighten those stops. There's no profile levels for me to provide to you, but just know that we are in the bar following bar nine, and a bottom could have formed as we came in at one o'clock. Maybe there's a lower low going into 1.30. Uh, just be on the lookout for that. That's the ES Mini out here. If we take a look at the Dow Equity Futures contract for the 30-minute time frame, you're going to see the same pattern out here. So this is going to be something for us to be paying attention 
attention to uh, between now and the uh, 2 p.m. hour out there. So that's what's going on in the short term time frame. The NQ, somebody might have asked, that is not in wave number nine, not just yet. That's only in wave number six. So I don't have a bottom per se or pattern, but there's the A to B equals CD pattern. You can see it. There's several of them. Here's the uh, here's the large one. Here's the TDA uh, setup nine count top. Uh, looks like back around uh, last week out there inside the NQ. And then now what we're looking at is a one to 1.272 A to B equals CD to the downside. So the 30 minute chart for the NQ has a potential of a Gartley buy pattern going on. It would need to form a bullish reversal candle. And it's got about uh, what are we looking at? 19 minutes, 18 and a half minutes in order to do that. So we'll want to be able to check back in. So in other words, in the short term time frames, 30 minute time frames for the ES, the NQ and the YM, each of them have patterns worth paying attention to out here. Now to the larger time frame, meaning the daily and the weekly out here, uh, here is uh, let's just stick with the uh, Dow right now. We're going to be taking a look at the equity futures contract so that you and I can use these profile levels to assist us on what's going on. Now in this chart right here, what you're looking at is the current December contract. Now you're going to we're going to be flipping back and forth in between the current current contract, the current tradable contract, and then Stevie's composite or synthetic uh, version of the contract. And that's going to give us different profile levels. Sorry for that, but you can see if we just go ahead and pull this December contract back further to the left, you're going to see a lot of missing data. And if you use missing data, you're not going to really get great results out there with regard to the numbers out here. But nonetheless, we have to use both, or I like to use both out here, to get a gauge as to what's going on. The Dow Equity Futures contract says a close below 26,924. That's the bottom of its daily profile, says a daily time frame change in trend out here. And this would say price could pull back, let's say, to the bottom of the weekly profile. It could go below that, but that becomes the next level of support. That's 26,273. Now, if we switch over and take a look at the um, the synthetic version of the contract. And the reason is, again, because this now has more data. More data means better, more reliable numbers. And this is just a numbers game. So now when you see me pull over the synthetic contract, it is different from the continuous contract. And that way, this provides us with reliable numbers. Now, what you're going to see here, this is just the daily time frame. If I shorten this trade up or chart up, I should say, you're going to see that the daily panel is in the left hand corner the weekly panel is the upper right hand corner the lower left is the monthly time frame and the quarterly time frame is the bottom right here's what you know about the larger time frames prices above resistance meaning the top of the profile on the quarterly basis at 25 856 uh, giganto bullish out there. Giganto bullishness when you take a look at the quarterly time frame and know that we are trading above the top of the profile out here. Now this takes us back into the 2002 time frame. Uh, you can see the breakout on a quarterly basis for the Dow back in uh, January of 2012. So pay attention right now, prices above the quarterly time frame out here. And that's especially for you, Mr. 666, who every day that you see the Dow drop by a couple hundred points, feels the need to send me an email to tell me that the S&P is going back to 666. Man, oh man, oh man. Hey, here's the number for the uh, daily time frame that the Dow Equity Futures contract has to fall below, close below. It's 26,642. That's using Stevie's synthetic contract and his uh, super Doppler tools out there. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading 
trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Hey, let's go to our first caller, Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing well, Steve. How are you today? I'm also doing well. Thanks so much for asking. And we're going to go take a look at uh, Cleveland Cliffs, uh, ticker symbol is CLF, folks. And uh, Brent, tell me uh, uh, what you're doing, how I can help you. I don't have any position at present. I just, what I wanted you to look at, if you could, is if you go back to 2017, it's been kind of in this consolidation between around 6 and 12, 13 area. Yes. But then if you go back further to 2015, end of that to 2016, that's when it got down to, I think, under two. And so I'm just wondering, and there's also, I guess, you know, near term, there was something just not too long ago, a little hammer candle down there around six. It seems to be testing. It has some volume. So this was going to have you look at the different time frames and give me some idea what you, if you think the six is potential yeah. support or it could get down to two. I just wanted to take a look at that. Okay, sure. So uh, before you get down to two, you've got to clear the six level. Um, uh, and uh, and what I mean by the six level, six dollars and thirty cents to be specific. At six dollars and thirty cents. So if we take a look at the monthly time frame chart, uh, folks, if we take a look at the monthly time frame chart for uh, Cliff CLF out here, uh, dating back to uh, February of 2018, from February 2018 all the way till October of 2018, what we saw were nine consecutive months where the close of each month was a close above the close of the bar four months preceding the current bar that you'd be looking at. Now, what happens is this is kind of like the uh, marathon out here. And you can imagine if you've ever run a marathon, uh, uh, Brent, I don't know if you ever run a marathon. I've done a lot of exercising, not to that 
quite to that extent, but gone on some pretty crazy backpacking trips that are probably the equivalent of that. But oh, okay, and so when you're done with those, you're kind of exhausted. Uh, well, maybe yeah. not. <laughs> you know, you're ready for a rest at least. You know, or maybe a good uh, college football game or something. But in this case here, so the market kind of the same thing. So the TD setup nine count is is a version of a marathon inside the market, and so it uh, typically will get tired in making that move out there. And so in the case of the monthly chart for Cliffs, that's where it made its high, most recent high out here, I should say, and just looking from 2017 till the current time frame. And the nice thing about that uh, nine count is it generates a level of break, a breakout area, what Steve refers to as a breakout area. And that level happens to be $6.30. So if you see it close below $6.30, then those lower levels uh, start coming into play. And where Brent was going with those $2-ish type levels takes you all the way back into January of 2016. Now, in January of 2016, price was moving lower, doing less relative energy out there, part of the roads went to indicator strategy out here. So the bigger picture on the monthly time frame uh, says watch for 630 out there. Now, let's come take a look at the – now, it's possible – that price doesn't move all the way down there. On a monthly basis, price is sitting right now on the bottom of its monthly profile. That is 729. We're priced out at 726. So September comes to an end, you know, in about a week out here. If you see a close below 729, Brent, what that would kind of suggest to both you and I is that 630 becomes uh, real out here. So watch this uh, 729 level as a clue as we come into the end of the month. As we look at the weekly time frame, that's in the center of our screen out here. 713 is the bottom of its uh, weekly profile. If price closes below that, what the weekly chart would be signaling to us is that if we come in and we do a wave count from back in February of 2019 out here, we'll see that the current low got into wave number six. That's letter number F. So any close below that level, that price, let me see if I can get that price for you. I know I can. It's uh, $6.64. Anything that spikes below that could get you to wave number seven or letter G out there. Um, so, but, but right now, the read as of 122 in the afternoon is prices above support, the bottom of its box is 713 on the weekly, and at support on the monthly time frame. The daily out here, I guess the question is, what kind of volume is going on today and yesterday in the past couple days as price is moving back into a swing point that does have volume, which is September 3rd? That volume was 32 million shares. A couple days ago, as price got into it, was with half the volume. Uh, that was with 14 million shares. Yesterday, 9 million shares. And so far today, you're at 5 million shares. So it looks like volume is sort of depleting as it gets down here. The ideal test for you would be to see price uh, breach the low of September 3rd. Do it with less than 32 million shares. Close back above that low, which is 664. That could give you wave number seven in the weekly time frame chart, letter G. We're not showing that right now. And that could be uh, the trade uh, setup out there. That, that's, the, that's the way I would call it and take a look at it. Now, you've studied the chart a little bit further than I have. Is there something else specific that you're looking at that you can help our listeners, viewers uh, uh, look at? What, should we, what have I missed? What should we look at? No, that's the, what I had mentioned on the shorter term, that area that you're talking about. You have your, okay. you know, okay. the vertical line on at the moment. So that's, uh, yeah, that's on the shorter term. That was my thinking. I just, then I would, like you just did, have it take a look at the, going back further, which he did, and that's helpful, and that's kind of what I needed to, to okay. see the different levels of potential, you know, support for the thing, and as always, just watch it and look for a, some kind of a reversal and all the usual uh, criteria that we look for. So. Sure. So the daily time frame, we're going to be in day number five of a TD setup nine count. Now, I don't know that it will unfold this way, but if you could if you could make a nine, a valid nine count pattern while testing that lower swing point with lighter volume closing back above it and everything, you know, you'd have all the reasons, uh, all the makings of wanting to take a uh, to take a, a stab at a long trade out there. Um, what I can't, what I don't see is a road momentum indicator pattern here setting up just yet on the daily time frame, but that's the look so far. So everything here is looking like a potential for a bottom. Now we just need the market to confirm whether that's the case or not. What, what does uh, Cleveland Cliffs do? Do you know? 
It's uh, iron ore producer. Uh, okay, 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 yeah. got it. Yeah, it's in oh. that, like a valley or one of those. Um, I think they actually do the, unlike U.S. Steel or something like that, I think they actually, uh, oh, they almost like the pellets that they melt down. I mean, they, they, they actually mine the ore itself. I think they don't, you know. Got it. Uh, Got do it. the actual forming of the steel, and maybe they do, but I think the main thing they do is just actually get the the, the raw material that you use for our, you know, to, to produce the steel. Is what right, they do. right, right. Okay. Well, I um, uh, thanks for that info. I appreciate that, and uh, keep an eye on it, and uh, give me a call back if uh, price is heading down there. Let's see what chart patterns are unfolding. Yeah, it's just like always. These are ones I just kind of have on my watch list and see what they're Perfect. doing. And it helps to have at least some idea of what I should be looking for if it does, you know, get down to those levels that we talked about. So sure. If you don't okay. mind, I don't. I probably won't stay on the line, but I just noticed that the VIX was, I think, over the 50, and and then, but it also has done bigger 16%. than a 10 percent rate of change, and so I just didn't know which was the kind of took, you know had the more relevance to it out of those two. So if you could maybe talk about that one when uh, you come back. And, or I'll do at that. At some point today, I'd appreciate it. You'll, we'll, we'll, we'll cover that and the ES Mini for uh, Maria in the uh, den and as much as we can in the hour that we have. Right now, we're going to hard break. Hey, Brent, always good to hear from you. Thanks so much for calling in. All right. Thank you very much, Steve. Have a wonderful day. You bet. We'll be right back, folks. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow down 195, S&P is off 29. So for Maria in the uh, den, want to take a look at the ES Mini. So Maria, we have to do this in two different ways, or I'm going to suggest that we do that. By the way, the Dow, the ES Mini is off 35 points. The average true range over the last 10 days is 35 points. Now, it's more than 35 points from the high to the low, but we're, we're not seeing anything more than, for the most part, what is the average uh, daily price movement. Now, this is probably 1.272 or 1.618 expansion uh, of that level. But here, when we take a look at this, is the December contract. And so the key support level that I've been sharing with folks out here for several days since that profile formed last week was the 2972 uh, level out here on the uh, daily time frame. Now, when we switch over to my other set of charts out here, this this four quadrant area, um, you're going to see a different uh, set of profiles, uh, certainly on the daily time frame. Now, again, this is using my synthetic version of the contract, which has more data. More data means more reliable profiles out here. It's not that the one for the December contract wasn't reliable. It's just that we really need to put the, uh, we need to really check to see, eventually these things will all uh, tie together, but that could take uh, a couple of weeks before that happens. So the other daily profile to be watching is the bottom of the synthetic version of Stevie's uh, ES mini chart, and that's 2965, 2964. We're trading right now at about uh, 2963, so we're within a point of that. So this could be some support out here. You can also see on the weekly time frame, this is where going to the synthetic version of the contract is really helpful, especially during contract rollover period. Uh, over in the upper right-hand corner, you can see the prices above the top of the weekly profile. That would be an indication of no major damage. Prices above the top of the monthly profile, which is 29.07, no damage there. And in the ES Mini, prices above the top of the quarterly profile. So, uh, and that's the, the reason why I wanted to, when we opened up the show, was to immediately go to the shorter term time frames, the 30 minute charts for the ES Mini, uh, for the NQ and for the Dow Equity Futures contract, the ES Mini specifically, because there was the potential of this TD setup nine count bottom pattern forming so unless there's a lower low that takes place as so as of 130 during that 1 to 130 session the yes mini went out and made a lower low that's the bar following bar number nine if there's a bounce that's going to take place folks it's beginning right now and so all that says for those of you that are short and your intraday traders out there uh, adjust your stop there's not, this is not a guaranteed pattern out here, but it's a pattern that works enough that we simply pay attention to it out there. So that's the ES Mini, and uh, Maria, I hope that that helps you out with regard to what you are looking for uh, there. Uh, if we take a look at the NQ, and again, in this case here, let's just go straight to the synthetic uh, version of the contract out here, uh, see if this thing will populate during times like this where the markets are moving, oftentimes things slow up. Now, in the case of the NQ, Q, you're going to see a huge wide profile, whether I'm using the synthetic version or let me get out here and see if this will populate for us rather quickly here. This is the daily chart for the December contract. I think we see that same wide-ish version out here. So the potential uh, for support, bearish structured profile, which is 73.25 on the December contract, and I got 73.27 on the synthetic. So these numbers are close enough for us to be able to identify support. But in this case, here, support is so far away from price, it's really not the first place for us to look inside the NQ. Instead, for the NQ, we would look to the weekly time frame. And we can see on the synthetic version of the contract, 7711 is the number. The low today, 7705. We're trading at 7730 as we speak right now. So, in essence, price is pulled back to support out there. But look, it is a there's, I'm not saying that there's not problems now. And we don't know what today's close is. I can say as a 134, if this were the close, we'd say, you know, there's problems. We know at profile levels to be keeping our eyes glued to to determine whether there's a legitimate change in trend. Here, when we take a look at the uh, four horsemen of the equity futures contracts and we pay attention to Stevie's green line, what we see now is a uh, unanimous vote that there should be a further retracement. Now, again, I don't know what the close is going to be today, but if there's a close below 29.92 in the ES mini, that's Stevie's green line value right now, says more retracement. 78.55, 
25 inside the NQ, 26,956 inside the Dow, and 1554 inside of the Russell 2000. So when price is below Stevie's green line, that is a level of support that has failed out there. Um, and then that uh, takes us back to, well, what are the next levels of support? Those take us back to those profile levels. So there's your ES, your NQ, and your Dow Equity Futures contract. I don't have the synthetic version set up here for the Russell 2000. Otherwise, I would go ahead and post that for you. But since I can't, I can't, and I won't. Now, let's go see what questions have come in. There's two questions. The first one coming from LB. LB writes in, uh, I'm wondering if you could take a look at the GDX and give me your take, both on a very short term, less than a week, and intermediate term. I'm long, and I'm wondering whether or not to stay long. So what we want to do out here, LB, is certainly take a look at uh, Goldilocks, see what gold is doing. Here, when we take a look at its daily profile, notice that price is right up against the resistance level of its daily time frame TAS market profile, and that is at uh, priced at 15.36. We're trading at 15.38. So what you'd like to see today is you'd like to see a close above that 15.36.60 level to be exact out there. Why? Just simply because of the directional correlation in gold and the uh, uh, gold mining equities out here. What happens if price doesn't close above that level? Well, it's up at resistance. Now, I don't have the crystal ball to tell me what that next move might be. Um, you're talking about short term and intermediate term. So we'd say short term, if price doesn't close above the top of that box up there, that could be resistance and just simply be careful. Now, of course, we'd like to go take a look at a um, at a intraday time period for Goldilocks. Let's do that. Let's put up the 30 minute chart here for gold. See what patterns are. Are forming up as it moves up to the uh, as it moves up to these highs. Um, I don't have a I don't have any topping signal on the short term base. It doesn't mean that it doesn't trade lower and so forth. It's only made bar number six of a potential, and we're in bar number eight right now, which is trading lower. So it looks like this uh, nine count pattern may uh, just simply uh, get uh, invalidated here if we continue to see a pullback inside of uh, gold on a short term time frame. Now I'm using the 30 minute time frame for you. You're asking about the inter intermediate term time frame. So on an intermediate term time frame basis, what are we going to do? I know what we're going to do. Let me see if I can get this thing to populate here pretty quickly. So for an intermediate term time frame, we'd really want to take a look at the uh, weekly time frame chart for you. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's come over and take a look at the gold contract, the December contract here. Let's see what profiles pop up here. Um, this says you would be so if you get a close above 1536 Lee what this would be telling you is to watch 155080 for your resistance area now that can happen overnight and then reject that level and then trade down you won't be able to close out your GDX trade if that's what you were looking to do but intermediate term time frame right now we can see gold trading in between the bottom of its weekly profile at 148920 and potentially the top of its weekly profile at 155080 longer term which may not be too long lee or intermediate term gold needs to close about 1551 let's call it in order to be more longer term intermediate term bullish steve rhodes with tfnn that was goldilocks for lb we'll be right back If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190.
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, Jim Thorpe's brother uh, must have uh, written in. He used to play golf with uh, Jim Thorpe. Not the Jim Thorpe, though, out there. Uh, but the, uh, he was a PGA uh, player out there, uh, the Jim that uh, I used to play golf with. But in any event, let's get to uh, the, the question out here, which is, uh, would you please take a look at the Russell 2000 30-minute time frame chart out here? So let's go put up the Russell 2000 30-minute time frame uh, chart. And uh, what we've got is uh, just like the ES and the uh, Dow, it had made that, it has made that TD set up nine count pattern. So there's the potential that a uh, bottom here has formed. You want to uh, watch the uh, low of the day. It becomes pretty easy whether this uh, pattern is going to uh, play out or not. That low is 1530 to uh, 60. If there's going to be a bounce, the first uh, target, because there's no profile level out here, would be Stevie's red line. That would be in the 1545 area. That line is going to move up or down. So I have to use the word area uh, because I don't know what that level is going to look like an hour from now or two hours from now uh, as we uh, speak. But uh, right now you've got a valid short term 30 minute time frame uh, pattern out there. It just says be cautious, use stops um, and anticipate a, a bounce up towards that 1545 ish area. As we look out here, Doug, if we look at the uh, 60 minute, the 120, the five hour, the 300 minute and the uh, daily, which also gives us our weekly set of profiles. Uh, you see red shoots out here. So everything is below uh, support levels. Now, in the uh, for, uh, that means Russell 2000 is below daily and the weekly uh, profile level of 1538.50 uh, out there. You're at 1535. So watch that level. See if price comes uh, back above that. Uh, so thanks for writing in. I hope that that helps you out and uh, um, and I look forward to hearing you again. So Alex writes in. Alex writes in. He says uh, Dow drops 200 points as Democrats talk Trump impeachment. Okay. Yes. Stocks traded lower after House Speaker Nam. Okay, just providing me with some information. So, I thanks, Alex. I appreciate that. Um, you know, whether that's the driver behind it or not, you know, who knows? If it is, you know, was it really just? Uh, was that really uh, um, the robots that were trading? 
and now the robots, you know, made that move down to wave number, not wave number, but uh, TD count nine, kind of like the marathon that Brent and I were talking about, only on the shorter term time frame, the 30 minute uh, time frame chart out there and only to now turn, uh, maybe, it doesn't matter. The cool thing is when we take a look at bars, you know, like Doug was looking, you know, for, hey, what's going on inside the Russell 2000 out here? Maybe Doug's thinking is, you know, what's the weak guy? What's the weak link doing out here? Um, what I don't have, nobody, maybe there's some, maybe somebody has something that exists that you can place your uh, crosshair over a specific bar and then it gives you the news, the news that may have affected the market right at that point in time uh, out there. Somebody's probably got it. It's those guys who've written those algorithms, maybe they, that's what they've incorporated into their system for doing their back testing. That's what I would do if I were doing the back testing out here. But what they don't have is what is it that causes those bodies? Maybe listen to the show, and they're familiar with the uh, nine count patterns that you and I look at, or wave number seven, or the Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, or the uh, Gartley buy pattern. The Gartley buy pattern. Oh yeah, that was on the NQ chart out there. Let's go see what uh, what that looked like. Uh, so here you've got the uh, Gartley buy pattern, uh, a potential bullish engulfing that would confirm that one to one point two seven two A to B equals CD to the downside. You'd anticipate a bounce into the seventy seven eighty eight level. Now no more questions right now in the email system. So let's go back to Brent's question, which was, hey, the spot volatility index, and I believe his question was, which one has priority? The one-day rate of change of 10%, which right now the spot volatility index is up $1.96. That would be 13%, or closing above the 50-day exponential moving average. And it's really going to be a combination of the two. Well, what do you mean there, Steve? Well, let's just take right now... Um, let me find it right here. We're going to go ahead and open up this chart. This is the chart right here in essence that uh, Brent sort of referred to. I'm going to refer to it. And that's going to show you one day rates of change greater than above plus 10 percent. Those would be the blue arrows. And the green arrows are the one day rates of change below minus 10 percent out there. I think I said that correctly. Today, right now, we may have one of those blue arrows, a one day rate of change uh, that would be positive. Now, if we just come back and take a look at the prior incident of this. So take a look at the day of August 23rd out there. August 23rd of 2019, you had a 19 percent one day rate of change. Now, I'm just curious. I'm going to switch over. Let me just move this here. I think this is how I'm going to have to do it. Let me come over here. So August 23rd. August 23rd, um, the spot volatility in Sprint was above the 50-day exponential moving average. So that's where my crosshair is. So it would be kind of like the equivalent to what it is that you're asking about today. So I'm just going to go back to the chart, look at the data, and let the chart do the um, give you the opinion. I am just a narrator here. I really am. Uh, I'm not giving you my opinions. We're just narrating what the chart is. That is the coolest thing about technical analysis. I, I just, I, I, every day I get floored by, uh, as, as you and I together, as we go, take a look at these different charts out there and we look at those patterns that form. Now, not every single one of these patterns identifies a top or bottom. And sometimes these patterns don't even exist when markets will go ahead and make a turn. That's not the point. The point is when these patterns do show up, we pay attention. So back to the one day rate of change. Stay on target, Steve-O. Um, if you take a look at the last time, out here again, August 23rd, uh, spot volatility above the 50-day, one-day rate of change, in this case, 19%. What did we see? We saw a bouncer bottom on the very next trading session. Go back another time. Go back to the day of August 14th, uh, and I know that the spot volatility was above the 50-day. One-day rate of change, 26%. What happened the next day? You had that bounce or bottom. Now, we're just looking at the S&P 500 cash, and really was kind of a bottom because the following trading session, things went higher out there. Come back to a prior session. That would be the session of August 12th. One day rate of change there of 17%. You had a nice bounce, very nice bounce on that very next trading session. And the whole point of this, there's really several points of this. Number one, the spot volatility index is a cool tool. It is a cool tool. It is not meant to be used as a tool that says whether there is or isn't complacency. I want to blow my brains out when I hear that because you can't trade on that. Here, we've got something that we can, we can trade off of. It's, it's, it's like, really? Now, not every single one of these one-day rates of change above 10% are going to turn into a 
bounce or bottom. You at least will see, typically you'll see that bounces, bounce area. Now you'll see that in the ES mini. And typically you'll see some type of pattern that would form overnight. Now we're not overnight right now. And you know, coming in at 130, we may have seen that bottom for the a day out there. And it may be invalidated, the 10% rule that you and I are talking about here come four o'clock. I don't know whether that's the case, but certainly we can come back to July 31st out here, a one day rate of change of 15.64%. Look, the very next day, there was definitely a bounce. You saw that price got up to the prior day's high, but then eventually went ahead and sold off. And that was a one day rate of change of about 11% out there. So, um, but, but this, uh, but this pattern of that bounce or bottom happens so often, uh, you really should pay attention to it. Now, I'm not telling you to pay attention to it. I'm just asking you to pay attention to my charts and what takes place out there. Because you see, the most important thing is if it's a really bad close, what I don't want you doing is taking a short going into the end of the trading session. Too many chances of a bounce or bottom out there. That's the point of this tool. Well, there's several points, but that's a really important one. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. We do have a couple of questions. Uh, we'll try to uh, get through all of these. Uh, Peter had asked about the advanced decline oscillator reading for the New York Stock Exchange. Right now, you're going to see that it's below zero. Below zero, the reading is minus 45. That tells us that sellers are in control of the market. That's if there's a second close below zero tomorrow. Now, the worst case scenario for the New York Stock Exchange is that the advanced decline oscillator stays below zero along with the spot volatility index staying above its 50-day expansion moving average. 
average. By the way, that's 1616 uh, for that. But that's really more about tomorrow uh, uh, because you need to see follow through. So we'll follow back up on that. We have a question here from John who wants to take a look at uh, Marriott, ticker symbol is M A R, and he wants to buy some calls for a short term time frame. Is it approaching support here? And could we see a bounce? So when we take a look at support, price is below the daily, the weekly uh, set of uh, profiles out there. So that is below support. If we're going to use those as support, which we do, we're going to look at other support. On the daily time frame, price is testing a, a swing point, most recent one. Uh, from back on, uh, John, from September the 3rd, had volume of about $2 million. You're at $1 million today. Uh, it could be a rejection if it's less than 1.89 million shares today and it closes back above 123.63. You're at 123.46 right now. So that could be a trade. I would love to see some type of pattern form as price is coming back into support out there. Whereas we had, as price was coming back into support on September 3rd, that swing point I mentioned, what was going on there was we had a Rhodes momentum indicator signal pulling back in the support level of its TD uh, setup nine count breakout from back on June 3rd at 123.46. Price is back to that level again, but I don't have that potential bullish pattern out here that we did the last time price was down on September 3rd. So I think you need to wait uh, for a uh, better trade setup right now. But you asked me, was price at support? And the answer was yes, it was. And that number, as we close out the session, 123.46. That's your magic number. You're at 123.50 right now. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. Great hours coming up. One from your favorite polar bear, David White, Tom O'Brien, to take us on home. And I'll see you back here tomorrow on Wonderful Wednesday. Take care.